I just realized in that shot, that last shot, that there was two guys in the way of that last shot. So you didn't even get to see me do the full thing. Mm. I didn't realize until uh, un until afterwards. And then I was, my, my arm wasn't, and then I didn't have the strength in my arm to do it again. I tried to do it again, it didn't work. Ah! Note to self, Jack, check people around you before you do something that you might not be able to do again. Anyway, got some breakfast, Hannah Chocolats from uh, uh, Morrison's. We're doing something slightly different today. We're, we're going to be looking at Lightroom today. I have to say, I'm not impressed. Morrison's, you have to step your game up. It was dry. Morrison's, you've got to step your game up. Anyway, so what I'm going to do to start off with, I'm going to go out and take some photos of Ray just out front of the house. And then I'm going to take those photos and I'm going to bump them into Lightroom and we're going to see how we can get on. Let's get to it. Let's go. All right, so that went really, really well. The shots that I got, I'm pretty happy with. So all that's left to do now is get it into Lightroom and give it a go. Let's go. And we're set up. We are good to go. So first things first, I'm just gonna drag, I'll see if I can. I'm gonna be showing you what I'm doing to one video, to one photo, and then I'll just show you how the other two videos show how the other two photos turn out. So, drag it in. Import, maybe? All right, so already I'm getting very confused and I'm already not understanding fully what's going on. I've created a catalog. Um, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right, okay, there we go. Now I'm on it. Now I'm on the roll. Now I'm on the ball. There we go, there we go. <laughs> so, and then these ones, one, two, and import all three of those photos, please and thank you. The photo that we're going to be working with is this one here. So as you can see, it, it's relatively bland. It's very relatively flat as an image. So that's what we're going to try and do. And the good thing with Lightroom is that you can emphasize different parts of the photo. Whereas with Photoshop, you can make all of it brighter or all of it more contrasty or all of it cooler in its tone. But with Lightroom, you can take specific colors and make them brighter. So like, there's a lot of orange in this photo from the bricks. Um, and if I wanted to neutralize that to bring out rage more, then I can do that. If I want to highlight the yellow, I can get the yellow. So it's little things like that. So yes, going to develop be the next one in this little side section here you've got the hue saturation and luminance of each of the main different colors red orange yellow green aqua blue purple and magenta so this is where i can so this is where i'm thinking i can play around with it so let's say the orange if i want the saturation on the orange to go all the way down that'll be pretty much everything except for her top if i want the reds to go down similar situation so there, if you look at her lips, from zero there, her lips just go gray. And that's not what I'm wanting. So I'm just gonna set everything back to zero. If, I'm, if I was going for like a really stylized thing, I could do that, but I don't think that's exactly what I'm wanting for this photo. Uh, let's, let's, let's have a yellow lips, yeah, sure. I do not know what I'm doing. Orange is pretty much everything in this photo. Everything is orange from the bricks that make up the walls to the bricks that make up the drive to the skin tone to Rachel's skin tone. It's all very much orange or orange tones. So, um. 
everything I do just makes it look worse. Oh no. See, it looks nice in black and white. But as soon as you get the colour back, it looks... Naff. Interesting. So there, that and this noise reduction here. If I zoom in a bit more so you can see a bit better. If I go like that, that'll just make her face... It'll just make her look like a drawing. It'll make her look like she's... Um, like AI generated. That's really interesting that. So this is um in, where am I? Detail little folder thing. And then it's in the noise reduction portion of it is where I'm at. Lens correction, transform. So what's all of this then? Oh, huh. That, don't like that. <laughs> Undo all of that. Oh, so this is like, uh, this is vignetting. Okay. Yeah, just that nice little. Oh, there I am. Oh! This is, this is the D. Hayes one, and I don't know. That looks like she's in the apocalypse, that, doesn't it? That looks like she's walked into hell. So that's what we were looking at, looking at before. And that's what it is now. Okay, so there's a lot more depth to it now. I'm not sure if I like it entirely not sure if I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I'm its biggest fan in the world but it's better than it was before oh, that's better that's better that's the one I think I think I think I'm good I think I think I, I, I think that's pretty good to be honest like I, I always wondered how photographers got photos of real models to make it look with their skin so like soft and silky and it's that noise reduction i'm pretty happy with that what i'll do is i'll do the same with the other photos and then i'll we'll do a little before and after but yeah i'll see you on the other side of that and i've done i whacked on some critical role to get me just flowing with some dopamine and it turned out all right neither of them turned out anywhere near as good as the first one that I did with you guys watching it but I think they turned out all right so here are the um, original shots and then above them are the edited versions of the shots please let me know what you think please let me know how you think I can improve if you can give some advice on how to work Lightroom better or which settings I should be using and which settings I really should be just leaving alone, please let me know. Leave them down in the comments. And beyond that, that's me. That's that's me done. That's this video. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that lovely stuff that Rach has introduced to my um, outro now. But, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.